what was your then strategy that you used to to grow so quickly? Because I've had people reach out to me and they say, you know, uh, I'll work on a song and then I'll put it out there on social media. You know, I'll make some posts about it and nothing really happens. So yeah. what, what are you doing that's so yeah. special? That, that's I mean, that's the that's the main approach that um, is taught online and, and basically the industry standard is like, okay, you you put out a song and you make TikToks or Instagram reels about it and you just post, 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 um, which of course, um, there's definitely validity to that. That's the best way to grow, I think, organically. Um, but doing that just just that really means you have to be co posting consistently and putting in all that time into editing the videos. You have to be comfortable in front of the camera, um, which yeah, I've struggled a lot personally with. I haven't personally even been able to to make uh, many reels. But yeah, there's more than that, um, and there's a combination of playlisting what I do, I sending my songs to playlists, having my own playlists, having paid ads like Instagram ads. And a combination of those things and organic content, and yeah, if done right, you can promote your music and then scale it up with every song you release. That's a really good approach there. How you kind of you build yeah. everything together. I mean, that's very that's... surface level. I can go into much more detail, which is pretty much putting my whole strategy, like a A to C blueprint, into one digestible um, guide. Yeah. Um, yeah. And and yeah, I've read, yeah, I've I've read the book, and it's it's really good. I highly recommend it. All of that. Uh, in the description below yeah, for thanks you so to much up for watching because yeah, it's a great book. Yeah, anything yeah that was the big crazy. takeaway I had when I read the book was just how simple it is and how yeah. accessible it is for, for anyone, even if you're a complete exactly. beginner. Afraid you that don't have a, like, yeah. uh, like why, the, why the hell am I not doing this? Two main things that I do for marketing and it's um, Instagram ads for my song directly for my release. Like a, a, a video that's like, as I said before, like just with the lyrics, with the cover art um, and a good part of the track saying that it's a track out now. Um, that's one thing and from sending people directly to a streaming link, um, like fan link or tone link, um, where they get to choose the streaming um, platform. And the other thing is Spotify playlists, where I also promote them using Instagram ads. Um, but they're much cheaper. It's a lot cheaper to get somebody to listen to your playlist than this to that one song. Hmm. And if you put your music into that playlist, um, you're not only getting streams through that at a good cost, but you're also telling Spotify what music you're giving Spotify the data um, they need to categorize your music into the other artists. You know, Spotify kind of has a a map, like a 3D map of every artist, and it kind of puts people together. So an Ed Sheeran and an Ariana Grande, they might be pretty similar because they're both big. That people are the same pop audience. Um, and somebody who's doing heavy metal is like on a completely different spectrum and house music here and here and here. And every artist has its right. er era, you know, and to, for yeah, Spotify. I noticed, to I noticed that with my own music because like, back when I didn't have everybody streams, you know, like, people also listen to. It was yeah. like, always artists that didn't sound anything like my music. Yeah, but yeah. When I started building some of my own playlists and adding my music into there, then suddenly all those artists were like, yeah, these are artists I listen to. These are similar music to, to myself. So I've seen that. Exactly. Happened for me. Yeah. Hundred percent. Um, which is another bonus, you know. If you put your music into other artists, which maybe aren't that big either, your profile is going to be shown on their on their Spotify. People also like, and then you as an artist, you know, that's free free marketing for you as well. Um, uh, but the more powerful thing is that Spotify knows who to show your music to. You know, if they know, okay, people that listen to your music, they also like listen to this and this and this because we've gotten. 10,000 listens from this playlist that have been exactly like that. Uh, we're now confident to push out your music to other people that listen to that and not yours yet. And by the way, I have a free guide that walks you through how you can get on tons and tons of user generated playlists. So you can just go to orpheusaudioacademy.com slash Spotify playlists. This is a completely free guide that walks you through how to do this. And you can really get on tons and tons of playlists. And you can kind of build up a whole network, like an army of playlists 
at your disposal. So every time you have a new song to re release, you just hit up your network that you've already built. You put do the legwork up front to build this network of playlists. And so then every time you have a new song comes out, boom, you already have it, you know, dozens of playlists ready to add your music at the drop of a hat. So that is really cool. And that can really get that snowball rolling and immediately get your song onto the Spotify algorithmic playlist. So definitely grab that for you guys in the description below. The kind of the third pillar that he utilizes, and this is kind of a smaller one. He isn't, this isn't kind of a, not really one of his main focuses. It's kind of main two where just paid ads and then playlisting, but he does do some organic content, which is kind of backwards, right? Because you see so many people and artists trying to just, <laughs> organic content is kind of like the number one strategy that they do. And that can work, but that just takes so much time, so much effort, and right, the all the algorithms and all these platforms, they kind of crush organic content. Um, that said, there is a place for creating content, and other, other artists do have success with this. So he does create some. He creates some simple clips from his song uh, and then just puts it to some kind of engaging video. Um, you could just use some, like, stock footage for this. And then he usually will use these for ads, but then he will, you know, post these on some so uh, social uh, media platforms as well. For example, he only posts about twice a month to Instagram. So when a song comes out, he'll post a little bit about it, and that's kind of it. Uh, he says he does do stories regularly, but there's actual posts on Instagram. He only does like twice a month. So this is really the minimalist approach to growing a fan base and actually getting traction, actually putting yourself on the path to becoming a full-time artist and making a living from your music. It doesn't have to take a ton of time. You just got to be consistent. That's what it's called. Minimal effort. Release strategy. Minimal, 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 minimal. For people like me who don't like posting on social media, um, this is something that works, and I think that's something that really anyone can do. Like posting three pictures and posting the cover art and putting the audio over the cover art or over a royalty free clip you find online. Or then I have to be like, if you're just posting on Instagram, you can post anything. You know, you can repost. <laughs> And repost anything i just wanted to let you know that nico goes into much more detail and depth in his book the independent artist blueprint a step-by-step -step guide on how to make a living with your music i've actually read this book myself and it's absolutely fantastic so if you want to check out the book yourself just go to orpheusaudioacademy.com slash gend and you can actually get 10 percent off this book just be sure to use my code reagan 10 at checkout. By the way, how would you like to start making $1,000 a month from your Spotify streams alone? If so, then click on my video on the screen right now. And not only will it teach you that, but it will show you how to do it without running ads or paying for expensive playlist submission tools. And it can even be done in just 30 minutes a day. So go ahead and click on the video now.